What's up, mother? What's up? my name? is Joshua, and thank you guys for tuning in to the Little Maid mod installation guide for 1.8.9. Now, for those of you, uh, for those of you watching now, I just want to make a bit of a disclaimer. Um, this video is being recorded, you know, May May 30th, 2006, uh, 2016, and the reason why I'm saying that is because. Um, later down the line of if this is like a year, two, or five, and anyone comes comes across this mod and wants to install it in this particular way, um, if the video doesn't look like this, or like if if the um, if the link um, that brings you to the Little Maid mod wiki here doesn't look like the like the the downloads don't look like this or exactly like this, let me know so I can make a new Little Maid mod uh, installation guide, because and also for Forge, and the reason why I say that is because I've looked at many, many, many mod mod installation guides, and it took me hours to figure out how to install it. Uh, no videos explained it, and it was so it was very frustrating for me because I wanted this mod too, and I figured it out myself. So you guys follow exactly the way this is, and you should have the Little Maid mod. Also, something something else to consider, for those, it's, it may not work on every person's computer because it may it just may not work possibly. It's just how it is. So keep that in mind. But if you follow these steps, you should get the little maid mod. Uh, I'm gonna ex ex exit Steam because I don't want stupid CS:GO raffle indications because I don't do that. People keep adding me to those freaking groups. Anyways, so before we start. Let's uh, let's open up the Minecraft uh, game, the launcher. Now, this is for anyone who's installing this mod and doesn't want anything going wrong with their um, with their game, because it, because sometimes mo uh, mod installing can be a bit challenging and it may not work, and it can also um, mess up. Um, files as well so you want to create a backup okay now this isn't you know just to scare you guys but this is in this is just so you can have a backup in case something happens so to get to the, to get to your dot minecraft folder to create this backup you want to go to the your profile you want to edit your profile you want to go to open game drive and you got this now you open up your dot minecraft folder now you can just close these and this and go to your Minecraft backups, like wherever you want to put your backups. So you want to, so I want to put it in, um, I want to get rid of these, hold on. Ignore that, ignore that, that's not, that's not important. So you want to go to your backup, this is mine. Uh, go to your Minecraft folder, highlight everything and everything. Make sure you have closed the Minecraft game launcher drag and drop everything in here it'll copy and paste it and you should be good to go so leave your leave your dot minecraft folder open okay you don't have to close it so you've got your backup and you're good to go now on to installing the mod so this is how this is what you are basically going to be going to i'll leave a link in the description of where to of of the um, you know where to go you want to go have the Minecraft uh, Forge downloads here. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering over my words. I'm just trying to get out the important information as quickly as possible without rambling. But there I go, <laughs> rambling. So, you want to go to the um, installer here on the 1.8.9, click it, and you'll have to wait six seconds. It's basically a, um, I guess this is how they make money. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, once the countdown's over, you click skip. It'll start downloading. It'll say, warning, do you want to keep it? Yes, you do. So there's that. Now we go to the form. You want to scroll down until you see these yellow links here, this yellow maid here. You want to download the Little Maid Mod X and e EBLib. You need both of these. EBLib, I believe, helps, keeps the, uh, helps the mods, uh, or the mobs, stay in check I'm not sure I don't I'm not a coder but basically 
regardless of what their importance is, you need both of them. So you click accept on all, th all three of them, you're good, and now we can go back here. So, let's open up Minecraft again here. We can keep the, our Minecraft folder up over here. You don't have to watch this, this is not important. So put in your, your username and password. And now you want to go to Edit Profile. Uh, I'm sorry. No, no. You want to go to New Profile. You want to do 1.8.9. Just so you don't have, don't mess with your your current one. Just do 1.8.9. Go to your latest version. Go to uh, or use version. Go to 1.8.9 here. Click Save Profile select that profile and hit play and now it will download um, the 1.8.9 version and that will be in versions in this file so we'll just have to you know wait a little bit nothing wrong here and then once it's done it'll open up the launcher now, if you get this error, it's not a crash. It's just Java being obnoxious. Because Java is honestly, in my opinion, not a very good launcher, or at least engine, for Minecraft at all. So we'll just to just keep canceling it. Don't worry. If, 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 if you are getting this error, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong. Just wait until Mojang pops up. See? Spiders are everywhere. Yes, they are. So we can close that now, and then um, now we go to our downloads folder. It'll be right here. So go to downloads and drag and drop everything here onto your onto your uh, um, uh, sorry, my brain's farting. Um, my your desktop, or you can go to your um, you can go to your browser. And you can also drag and drop these as well on the uh, desktop. So now what you want to do is you can go back to your .minecraft. Just go back. You can uh, click the just click downloads, drag and drop, and then go back. Now you want to double click on Forge 1.8.9, and this will pop up. You just click install and install the clients. It'll do this. And it'll it'll take a little bit of time, but with luck, um, with luck, <laughs> actually, because if it was luck, then uh, this would be a high this would be a high risk, high reward kind of mod. But I, but I so I retract my statement. It will take a while, and with time, it will succeed, and you got your Minecraft Forge um, installed. Now with now you open up the game again here. And now you get a nice little forage right here. And then you click play. So it will install everything um, that is needed for 1.8.9 for uh, with forage. And uh, let's see if it starts up right away. Usually it doesn't, but if, again, if you get this, just click cancel and play and you just keep doing it until Mojang pops up. It'll take some time. I'll uh, I'll skip to the part when it finally decides to cooperate. Ah, finally. So once you see this, this will start basically knocking my <laughs> knocking. It's gonna be foraging Minecraft Fought Forge into your game and then you got this once you see uh, seeing this means it's a nice um it's a nice it installed okay i'm not trying to i can't be can't be clever with words in these tutorials i'm not i'm not new to all right so we'll close that now we want to open up the mods folder that it installed okay if, if you if you don't see this folder um all you have to do is just right click 
go to new, click new folder, and then type in mods. That is if you don't see that folder. It should be in with it, okay? So you just go click on the mods folder, and you click on, you can highlight both of them, and drag them into the folder. And then open up Minecraft. And click play. And hopefully it starts up right away. Be nice. All right. Again, if you see if you see it doing this, it hasn't crashed. The game hasn't crashed at all. I'm just gonna keep waiting. Oh, sweet. And with this now, so with the so now with the two mods in the mod folder, it should just be adding in a bunch of stuff. There we go, and then bam, got the mods. Got the you got actually eight mods it says, but <laughs> you basically got the little made mods. So just go to single player, go to creative world, and this is how to determine how you have the mod. So just create a new world, and then it'll. It'll take a little bit because you know Minecraft takes a while to uh, basically generate the world. So we'll just wait a little bit. Just waiting. And there you go. And it'll have like these links here in the corner, but ignore those. So now that we are here in the game, we can just go. Uh, hold on, let me let me just turn off the sound because the music loves to blast itself sometimes. Anyways, um, we'll just scroll all the way down. You're gonna go to miscellaneous. Scroll all the way down, and you should see. Whoops, you should see the little ma uh, the little maid egg. Here you go, and you right click and bam, get yourself a little maid, and we'll have plenty of them. Oh God, they're everywhere! And there you go. That's how you install it. Now, as for how the mod works, um, I can do a video on how the little maids work, if you want. Um, kind of like a mod spotlight, if you would. But, if you guys are already here, you probably know what the little maid mod is all about anyways. So, that's how you install the mod. Now, let's just say, for some reason, the mod just it didn't work. If you guys had any trouble whatsoever and this didn't work, this is how you put back your backups. Okay. So you go to your edit profile, you open up your game drive here, and then you close Minecraft. You have your Minecraft dot you know your Minecraft folder here, and you can you just. Um, well, let me just empty empty this before, uh, this now. Um, you just drag and drop everything in here into the recycling bin. Go to your Minecraft backups. Go to your file that you had here. Drag and drop everything from your backup back into your .minecraft folder. You can close your backup. Close that. Open up the game. And I already I already installed it before, but um, this is just like if you have any trouble. And of course we'll make sure, you know, the game opens up. Be right back. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I hate the mod. I hate, hate Java platforms. I hate them. I love them. All right, and then once 
the game starts showing up again. And this is this is this is because I have the little made mod installed already. So basically, after painstaking five minutes of trying to get this thing to start up again, Mojang popped up, and you should be able to play your old version or with your old maps as you normally um, have before. And like I just stated, the Java platform can be a pain in the ass sometimes. But, um, you know, just open up your your world bef uh, that you had before, if you had any trouble. And uh, there you go. This was from a previous uh, version, also for a video I was working on. So, yeah. So, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment place below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope everything worked out well for you. And hope you guys have a great rest of the day and have a great time with the new Little Maid mod. Good mod. Not good with the outro, guys. All right. See you later, guys. Peace out and freak out. Bye.